It's the first day of summer! Yeah, summer school. <laughs> We're sending our sister to summer school. What? What about the pool party? Oh, no, 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 no. You are not going to be going to any pools or parties unless you get three gold stars. And an A+. Plus. This is my worst nightmare. Get going! Go! Your you guys, I have to go back to summer school, but complete it in order to go to my pool party. And I cannot miss this pool party, so hopefully I get good grades and get all three gold stars. All right, first class. Geography. Oh, gosh. I am not good at this subject. Sorry, nerd. This seat's taken. By who? Yo mama. I wasn't aware that summer school also had a bully in it. Welcome class to geography. I have little hopes that any of you will be able to complete this exercise. Here I have a list of YouTubers and the states that they were born in. You must place their pictures correctly on their state without looking it up. And time starts now. Do I look like a social media enthusiast? How am I supposed to know where all these people live? That's stalker level. So this oh, is gonna be a I long see, day of summer I school. No, 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 no. I see how it works. I see you put where they live. I don't have to figure out where they live. I literally thought Jojo Siwa came back like a boomerang and that meant she lived in Australia. We're all competing together in the classes, but if we get them correctly, Eden will get the gold star, and if she excels as the number one out of the class, she gets an A+. This is not good, though, because I literally only know that this is Florida, this is Michigan, that's California, this is Arizona. Uh, uh, that girl. wasn't Arizona. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> and go! Okay, okay, okay. So what do we know for sure? Rebecca lives in California, right here. California, know that. I know. I think this is Nebraska right here. Is it? I think so. I think it's Kansas. Kansas is over here, girl! Um, I know New York. 30 is... seconds on the clock. I think it's this New York? No, no, no. Because there's the island. This one. This oh, oh, oh. 20 seconds on oh the clock. Oh my god. Okay, George is right here. I know that. It what do we have left? It would have been helpful if the tape was already pre cut. Nice! Eight. Ah! Seven. Where's Ten. Connecticut? Five! Four! One. Let's see how you guys did. You guys, this is the first class and I'm already not feeling confident. I do not think that we did this correctly, but I don't know, maybe fingers crossed that we actually were really good at geography and we actually aced it. I guess there's only one way to find out. All right, before I reveal your answers, let's just clarify. You believe here to be California, here to be Nebraska, here to be Connecticut, here to be Georgia, and here to be New York. We have eyes. You didn't have to say every single one. And this is what is correct, and this is what is wrong. This is New York, and this is Connecticut. What? This is Nebraska. You got Georgia and California right. Is that a gold star amount? No! Go to your next class! Miss Corey is my least favorite teacher so far. Yeah, I agree. So, I obviously failed that class, but what's the next summer school class? Who lined up, faggot, against the wall? Uh, what's that? Ten high! Go, go, go! Welcome to the P.E. I'm scared and I'm not even the one who was sent back to summer school. I'll send you back a bunch more work than summer school. You don't pay attention. <laughs> Super important that I get a gold star in PE because I obviously have to get to this pool party and I already failed geography, so let's see what PE entails. You also failed your parents. You are a YouTuber, not a doctor. Yeah. For this class, you must work together as a team to get this ball through this hole by using your feet to kick it. Uh, wait, up, uh, sir. How do we work to get out? Say, did I say I'll take a question? Did I? No. Do you, do you have a question? Yes. Proceed. How do we work together to kick a ball? With that, that. Are you gonna spar with me, Missy? Drop down, drop down right half. Drop down, you do what? Work together. Everyone paying attention? Yes, sir. If you all miss your kick, then you all collectively have to do push ups. So you better make it in. I used to play a little bit of soccer with the, no, you didn't. the neighbor on kids. So this should be easy. All right, ready? All right, here we go. Oh, oh wait, was that not close though? 
I think it was. Next up, we got Gabby. You got something to say? <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. Oh my God! All right, Tyler, you got this. Uh, or not. I would also like to point out, I'm in flip flops. Whose problem is that? All right, because you are lost, drop down, and give me a push up. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> nice. I see there may have been a little too much force. You are the last straw. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> That was impressive. Okay, I got my first gold star, so let's keep this streak going. I guess I'm next is science. Welcome to science class. Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, Bill, oh, Bill. Bill. For science class, we're gonna be doing an egg drop. Once you have created your contraption, I'm gonna drop it from the top of the oven onto the landing target. Between the three of you guys, you must have at least one egg that survives this class in order to consider it a pass. Okay, I'm ready. I've always wanted to do an egg drop because I never actually went to school, so I didn't get to do this. Well, I'd like an education. <laughs> three minutes start now. Okay. Give me some paper towel. Oh, there's also one rule. There has to be one part of the egg that is visible. You gotta see yeah. the egg? Okay, I need to reevaluate my strategy. I think I probably have the best chance of doing this because I'm the smartest, Scory. <laughs> Guys, I'm stressed. I need He already broke his egg. What do you? 10, <laughs> 9, 8, 7. You guys, I don't have enough pipe cleaners yet. 3, okay. 2, one more. 1. And okay. hands up. All right, I am ready to take first place in this egg drop competition. All right, let's start dropping some eggs. First up is cold egg. Three, two, one. Oh, let's see. Chicken! Chicken! No! No! You're a monster! You're a monster! Sorry, Cole, that's a fail. I hope you lose. What? No, I need to win because I need a gold star because I've got a pool party to attend. Up next is Gabriella's. Three, two, one. It's okay! It's perfect! Hey, hey, hey. In your baby. You guys, this is the moment of truth where we're gonna test my egg drop. I hope that my theory works and that the egg is protected by the cotton balls, but we'll find out. Lastly is Eden. Three, two, one. Summer school. I can already smell the sweet scent of chlorine because I'm gonna be on my way to my pool party. Welcome to spelling boot camp. Spelling boot camp? I'm dyslexic. Today in English class, we will be having a spelling competition. And I will let you know that this should be easy peasy because this is a list made for fifth graders. I'm never gonna go to my pool party. Ow! You will go head to head to spell the correct word. But each time you get a letter wrong, there will be a punishment. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, spelling is not my strong suit, so. Yeah, you you wanna talk about not your strong suits? I was looking to the words as they are. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> Maybe Cole, you can help us out because you're a good speller. Yeah, I am a great speller. I put my glasses on, so I already feel the smartness oozing from me. Cole, your first word is accommodate. Accommodate. Can you use that in a sentence? Are you willing to accommodate someone if they have vegan needs? Accommodate. Spell the word. I have a pool party to get to. If you mention this pool party one more time. It is summer. Time begins now. 
A C C O M A. A C C O M M. Mommy, mommy. Don't let it. Dang it. A C C O M M O D A C H E. Accommodate. That is correct. Okay, okay, you got one. You. Still the my least favorite teacher. I just want to say, I don't know any five-year-olds that are spelling a comedy. Oh, that was for fifth, fifth grader. <laughs> fifth graders. That, they're like 12. Yeah, that's a little better. All right, Tyler, your word is spelled. Oh, why is she, why laughing, is she laughing like that? Why is she laughing? It's constantatious. Constantatious? Definition. You, yeah, thank you. The want to do the right thing. Okay. Well, that, like, Gabriella doesn't have that. I'm very con constipated. Constant. Wait, you're constipated? Con I am oh. a constipated. <laughs> constantatious. Constant. No, constantatious. Constant. No, constin. Con con like what's constantatious? Oh, oh well, like your conscience. Yeah. Constantatious. <laughs> C O N S. <laughs> Tea. Drop it! Oh, no, it's not constantation. Constant. Oh. 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 <laughs> Last try, guys. Tyler, Tyler. What? Don't mess this up. I'm trying not to. Who's the heel? And the B? And the, who's the B? O U S. <gasps> Constant. Hey, play it again. Gabriel, play it again. Conscientious? <laughs> you would have gotten that first try. I know what conscientious is. Oh my bad teacher. <laughs> you didn't. Can I just skip the gold car? I know I'm not gonna get this. Your word is mischievous. Okay. You can do that. That's no, easy. I can't. Yes, you can. I literally cannot spell to save my life. I'm dyslexic. M. Yeah. No, M. Dyslexic. As? Okay, I've got three letters. T. <laughs> <laughs> letter. Okay, 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 one letter. M. I. S. C. H. <laughs> Overcome dyslexia. Okay, it's either E or I. I feel like I'm gonna go I. <gasps> wow! Me. Ah! Who gave him a support? F-I-S-C-H-I-E <laughs> Okay? Lee! O-U-S Good job! Okay, wait, I think I got that the most out of anyone! I think she did. Yeah, but that doesn't give you a gold star. What the gold star would have been giving out on the first try. This is a list for fifth graders. Get her! Get her! Get her! Get her! Get her. All right, next class. <gasps> yeah, hopefully the teachers are a bully in the next one. All right, spelling was a little bit of a disaster, but let's see what the next class is. Well, hello, class. I am your instructor for the day, Wilhelm Sondheim. <laughs> is this music class? You are funking correct. Funking. Even though I teach the music, oh, I'm also part-time magician. Ooh! Solo! Well, good thing I also brought mine. I said the solo. Vape? No. <laughs> you get a little more credit for the funny joke. So I'm not the only musically talented person in the room. I'm here with one, two, three of the Scoys. The famous musical group on TikTok. Yes, the modern day Von Trapp family. I mean, I'll do this all of you. What? Hi, I am the young 
youngest. I'm my family. You keep interrupting me. We are going to have problems. Sorry, Wilhelm. I will chop you up into tiny pieces and pickle you up and then eat you with my sauerkraut. So I have a hat of the top hits from the scores. You each are going to take turns and perform on center stage. Whatever song you pick out. However, if you cannot complete at least 10 seconds, you will be strong in the Koga Stein. Also known as detention. So, let's have any Shmini, Shvani, Shmo, you. <laughs> oh, what? I'm, I'm literally oozing this excitement. What did you get? Come on, Tyler, just a, a gold star writing on this. So, I just need to sing it for 10 seconds? Yes. Hi, I am the oldest, I'm the leader of the pack, and all my other siblings just be riding off my back. I'm basically the parent, I keep everyone in line. I've never had a hand me down my shoes, they always shine. Wow! Is everyone else just feeling the symphony of his beautiful voice? It's it's like it's your 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 words. They were cuddling me up and just tucking me into bed for a nice long slumber. I hope I get one as easy as sipping anthem. Oh, is that my personal favorite? <laughs> oh, hang on. Let me find my note. Wee, okay, we got a bad help. Somebody says some help. She's going around causing trouble every day. No. You already messed it up! We got a battle, somebody send some help He showed up pranking right from the start Chester, the battle! If one thing is clear, all the Scoy siblings are not as musically talented equally Guys, I don't remember that one, that was so long ago! Chester, the bad elf, just hanging out and being himself I keep going yeah, it's not that easy, is it? We saved potentially the best for the last. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. I'm going to, I'm going to take a six bite here and just bask in the talent. Five, six, seven, eight. Ghost, ghost, where are you, ghost? Simply down the stairs we go. Ghost, ghost, where are, are you, ghost? I want to suck you up my home. Congrats, everyone. You've all did great, except for, except for Eden. So, did I get a gold star by association? Did, did you get a gold star? Well, is gold brain delicious? No. Well, it is, but it wasn't the right metaphor. No, you did not get a gold star. Uh, next class is math class. For math class, you guys are gonna be counting some balls. Because you're gonna be tossing those balls into these tubs. The white ones are worth three points. The small, gray, and clear ones down here are worth five points. And if anyone wants to try to go for the red cups, those are worth 10 points. Well, as the resident jack of this school, I only find it fitting that I go first. Uh, you guys all go at the same time. You have to be on there to throw it. Okay. And action. Oh. All right, I'm just going for the big ones because that's easy. Okay? 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 All right, I think we're good, guys. I think I'm doing good. Okay, I've got one more. Should I try and go for a different one? I might have won. Did you? I think I won. Let's count up the scores. Because this is math class, um, I feel like we have to add our, so I only have one in the five bin, so five times one, five. And I have two in the gray bin, so that's two times five, which if I am correct is 10 points. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. So that means Eden is the winner. Dang it. That means you have your third gold star, which means you still need an A plus to pass the class. And in order to get an A plus, everyone needs to pass one of the last three classes. Wait, guys, we can do this. We're smart people. I don't know. The group effort has not been going well so far. I think I know what class is next. Welcome to art class. They are. <laughs> oh, ah! Did you put this away? Get that away from me. I've been waiting for art class because I feel like this is a subject that I actually thrived in. So I'm ready for this. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. But can you convey those words to your teammates? Today we're going to be playing a Pictionary. All right, I'm here for 
for it. This is a good team exercise so we can all work together, okay, to get an A plus in this class. Who will be the first drawer? I'll go. Okay, you got this, Eden. Okay, I don't know if she's got this. I think she's got it. Do you? Yeah. Well, that's nice. That's conscientious of you. All right, mine is a place. New York City. One minute on the clock in three, two, one. Los Angeles. Paris, uh, New York. Uh, it's an office building, maybe? A uh, movie theater. A movie movie theater. Oh, yeah. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. The projector or the chairs? That's just because you are such a great artist. Hey, mine's a movie. A movie. Oh, oh. well, now you have to get a new one. Uh, ready, set, go. Um, a tombstone. Oh, wow. <laughs> A thermometer. Uh, a thermometer with a shocked face. Pinocchio. Oh, a snowman. Frosty the snowman. Uh, Buddy the elf. Nine. Uh, Nine. Christmas. Eight. Um. The Christmas three, miracle. Two. One. The movie was Frozen. <gasps> Why did you draw Elsa in a dress with a braid? Because I have freaking Picasso. This is obviously Olaf, and this is Ben, you incompetent swine. And also not the shape of his head. Tyler, you are next. Ooh, okay. Three, two, one. Go to the bathroom. Um, um. Oh, swinging. Chipotle poop. Swing monkey bars. Swing set. Circus. Trapeze. Uh, oh, swing. Swing plus, plus something. Swing dancing. Wow. Let's go! So, well, you all did wonderful and participated well. Unfortunately, I cannot give an A for a group effort. Oh. My pool party. Thanks a lot, Cole. Does she have a pool party she has to get to? I've never. This is the first I'm hearing about the pool party. I didn't realize that this school was full of bullies. Hello? Is this our next class? I'm scared. What class is this? Hello and welcome to computer science. I am your professor, C3PO. Are we being taught by a robot? Unfortunately, no, but that would be my favorite thing ever if I ever got the opportunity. Okay, so I guess it's time for computer class. Computer science. Oh, my bad. Are we supposed to all take a computer? I'm not asking you to grab your Kindle. Mm, my bad. So, construct the funniest image using AI that you possibly can. Because I'm in a mood to laugh. Okay, I think I got this. AI, I've never used AI to generate, like, pictures. Are you ready? And we all need to come up with funny ones so that we can get an A plus and pass this class. Okay, we have to do this because this is our second to last class. If we don't get this right, then we only have one more chance. Mm, precisely. Basically with AI, you can think of anything you want, type it out, and then it's going to generate the image. So I need you to think of something really, really funny. Okay, I think I'm doing pretty good, but I don't know if mine's like too far out there. Like if even AI isn't going to be able to make this image. All right, everyone have their prompts. And yep. yeah, so. Press enter on three. Two, one. All right, Miss Gabriella, please show me your AI generated photo. Oh, <laughs> cute, but that tickle my funny mode? I don't think so. That would thrive in art class. Like, it is a masterpiece, nonetheless. Okay, I tried. Sir Tyler. Oh, isn't that terrifying? Wow. I didn't know I was scared of monkeys wearing pizza jumpsuits, but I am now. Are you ready to laugh the hardest you have ever laughed in computer science? Mmm, bring it on! I present to you the Gabby Monster! <laughs> wow! I've never seen such majesty! It's like beautiful! Alright, here one! <laughs> Unfortunately, since you all did not make me laugh, you did not get the A+. Plus. No! You guys! That means we only have one more chance! Welcome to history class. I love this subject. I feel like I'm being interrogated. You are getting interrogated because we're going to be testing your history of today. 
All throughout the day, you guys have been doing different school activities, but I hid several items throughout school that I'm gonna see if you guys paid attention to. Um, I mean, I did notice a couple things out of place, but I didn't really think that much about it. It's time for pop quiz. Oh my gosh. If you guys wanna pass this class, Collectively, you guys all need to get every single answer correct. It's not allowed, it's illegal. First question, where was the merlion hidden? Oh, I know this one. Oh, wait, that was in the bamboo sticks in the space room, because I saw that and I was like, who put the merlion there? And then it just reminded me of when we used to hide the merlions back in the videos. So comment if you remember the merlion. The space room. Oh. Uh, in the space room. Where? In the little wood bamboo bush thing. Where was the T-Rex wearing a bow tie? Oh shoot, where was that? Where was that? I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it. T-Rex wearing a bow tie. I literally have no idea. The meeting room behind the couch. Where was the pink high heel shoe? The pink high heel shoe was in the frame in the diner. In the diner, in the picture frame. Hanging on. The picture frame to the left of the door. Where was the beware of ogre sign? Now it's all making sense. I was like, who put that in the space room? Against the um, the uh, booth. Because I was wondering, I was like, who the heck put that in here? Oh, I remember because when Nicole flipped the camera in computer class, I was like, why is the ogre sign behind me? It was in the space room next to the red booth. It's all coming together now. Where was the snake? Oh, I saw the snake too. Where is it? Oh, I did see the snake. I did see the snake. Where was the snake? Oh no. Hint, hint. Um. Where was the snake? Besides when Cole was next to me. Where was the snake? <laughs> Um, 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 I want to say it was also the meeting room on the purple wall. The meeting room, because the snake was hanging on the picture. <laughs> In the meeting room, hanging on the picture with the glasses. Where was a picture of Vector hidden? Who? Oh, easy. On the fan art wall. Vector. Oh, from this big me on the fan art wall. On the fan art wall. And lastly, in the space room, Lastly. how many of the locker doors were open? Oh my god, I have no idea. Oh no, oh my gosh, I was not paying attention. I'm you fiend! That is not conscientious of your fellow friends and family! Five. No. I'm gonna go with two. Two. Three. Final answer. No, two. Is Locked that, in. Is that your final answer? Yes. Wait, you're not gonna tell me which ones I got right or wrong? We're gonna see if you guys passed the class as a group. We don't know. Alright, based on your final scores, I calculated everything together and Eden, you have successfully passed summer school. Yeah! Party, party, party! Okay, guys, I am so excited to get this summer started. And guys, to kick off Super Scory Summer, everything on our store for a limited time is 50% off. So if you don't have anything from our store, make sure to go grab some merch before it sells out. I gotta go and get to my pool party before I'm late. But I hope you like this video. If you